Dr. Hazlitt, can you give us the top 10 ways to survive black classes here at the U? Well, there are probably more than 10, but I think the first one is having a sense of humor. Um, that goes for everyone, but for education students, it's a little bit different because you have to be able to laugh at yourself, which not everyone does. So, sense of humor is definitely number one. Um, the second one I have to say is adaptability. It's one semester, it's what, 16 weeks total, 11 weeks of student teaching. Just get on with it. Just do it. Suck it up and do it. Um, you can stand anything for a semester. You're young, you can do it. Um, just enjoy what you have rather than being upset over what you don't and just it's one semester. Enjoy it. It's your last one. Enjoy it. Third one is probably pride. Look at your accomplishments. Be proud of yourselves. Um, you're almost done. Compare yourself to who you are now, to who you were your first semester, freshman year, when you walked on this campus. I'm assuming you are a different person. So look at how far you've come, you know, what you've learned, what you've accomplished. Um, and education means something, and you've got one now. You're almost done. So, you know, take some pride in it. Um, next one is probably positive attitude. Everyone has horror stories about Block, and they're passed down and down and down. And, you know, Block is supposed to be awful, so it is. And everyone feeds off of one another. You hear the bad things, so it just gets, kind of grows. It gets worse and worse. And um, focus on the, the positives and not the negatives. Even if you have to work really, really hard to find a positive, you know, it would be sort of like Pollyanna, well, at least I'm not dead. That, <laughs> that may be a positive, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, do learn. Uh, remember Block, um, you know, it, it, it isn't worthless. At least we're not trying. No one tries to make their class worthless. Um, <laughs> no one sets out to teach badly. But what are you learning? What can you use? What contacts can you make? Look, look who you're sitting near. These are your colleagues. Um, at the very least, learn what not to do, <laughs> which sounds terrible. <laughs> My class, yes. Look, um, six is probably health. Take care of yourself. I'm old. Last night, I went home, and I think I fell asleep for like two hours. Um, but you've got a lot of work in a really short amount of time, and you need to get Make sure you're getting sleep and eating well and, you know, all plan ahead, all those kind of things. And I know I, I sound like grandma here, but most of you are probably living with people who aren't in student teaching. And so at 9 o'clock, you've got your jammies on and you're in the Lazy Boy and you're half passed out and your friends and roommates are, let's go party! And, <laughs> um, sorry, but you can't do that. Um, if you want to get up in the morning and be at school and teach. And so you're going to have to w watch those kind of things, which, which is rough because you have a very intense um, second semester senior year while most other people use that semester to take the PUD courses and have a lot of fun, which is um, what I would have liked to have done, but I was in teaching too, so I didn't get to. But it is hard to say no to going out or, no, I can't do this this weekend because I've got to grade papers and that kind of thing. Um, next one, well, this doesn't count, but um, diet pop with lime. I mean, want to cut that one out. Okay. Part of block that is so evil, so to speak, is that we are transitioning you from student to employee. And that's rough. Uh, part of what's so tough about Block, too, is high expectations. 
When you're a student, you can walk into my class a minute or two late. No one's going to say anything. If you want an extension, you ask for one. Or if you've got a headache, you don't come. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> but uh, if you, um, once you start teaching, student teaching, and you're supposed to be at school at 8, they don't mean 8. They mean 7.57. They mean be in your room with your coat off, ready to go by 8. Um, you go to school when you don't feel well. It doesn't matter. You're there. And um, you've got to be prepared ahead of time. You can't just be ready for today or tomorrow. You have to be ready for the entire week. And um, you also need to realize, or this is probably the place where you understand that the rules and regulations that you hate here, many of them we don't like either. <laughs> and you get to learn the wonderful world of, I have no say. <laughs> or, I have, it, somebody else makes decisions and it is I can't change them right now. Uh, maybe I can later, but I can't right now. And sometimes we think that if we don't like something, we'll change it. How dare you? But it doesn't always work that way. But we are trying to transition you from student to employee. So that's, you have to start living like you're a teacher instead of a student. And this is your last, you got what, another week to dress the way you want. And after that, after that, you're, you're, you're in decent, you've got, you're wearing clothes that are going to take you longer than five minutes to put on probably. Um, it's number eight is remember that your professors are here for you. Um, we're all here to help. Um, I love what I do. I'm, I think I'm assuming everyone else does too. And we are trying really hard because we want you to become.